Welcome to JSA TV and JSA Podcasts, the newsroom for telecom and data center professionals. I'm Barb Mitchell coming to you today from PTC 2022 in beautiful Honolulu, Hawaii. Joining me is Milad Abdelmissi, VP of Business Development for KDDI and Telehouse. Welcome. Thanks for joining us. It's a pleasure to be here. It's great to be back, right? In Abs person. Absolutely. In Honolulu at PTC. That is for sure. In a couple of years. Yeah. Yes, yes. How's yes. the week been going for you? It's it's excellent. Uh, you know, uh, we've, ha we've had uh, some very good meetings. Uh, there's uh, not as many attendees, but uh, it's, I, I feel it's it's uh, it's might be a little bit, bit better than ha being so crowded. I've heard that, yeah, yeah, from people. Really quality interactions, quality yes. meetings, yes. time We're, well spent. Yeah, we don't right? we don't have to rush the meeting. Slots, uh, 10, 15 minute meetings, we and we're able to so take true. our time. Yes. Yeah, so yes. true. So, for our viewers who don't know, can you tell us a little bit about KDDI and Telehouse? Absolutely. So, KDDI is a Fortune 300 company. We are one of the largest telecommunication companies in Asia. Uh, we operate um, uh, fixed lines, wireless, uh, mobile. Uh, data centers. Uh, we also do uh, IoT business, digital transformation. Uh, so we are a full service telecommunication company uh, from uh, A to Z uh, and we're able to support all our customers with all of their telecom needs on a global basis, uh, not just in the Asia, Pacific, uh, Asia region. And I understand you've recently been recognized by Data Center Magazine as the top 10 uh, in you know respect to the global collocation work that you do. Yes, so we uh, we were uh, nominated for top 10. We actually uh, received the award as one of the top 10 uh, for our data center presence, global data center presence. So we operate uh, over 42 data centers uh, around the globe, uh, and uh, we're able uh, we were able to rec be recognized and, and receive the award um, because of our site selection and our connectivity uh, capabilities in those data centers and in those markets. Uh, so that's our, our key uh, differentiator and our key uh, objective is uh, being a connected data center in, in, in those markets. And I understand that you have built out some new sites uh, recently, London, Marseille, Bangkok, I mean, really widespread development. Can you talk about that? Yeah, absolutely. So last year we, we turned up our Marseille site. Uh, this year we're planning to turn up another site in our Docklands uh, campus uh, in Q2 of this year. Uh, and we've just announced actually uh, about two weeks ago that we are building a uh, new data center uh, in Bangkok, Thailand uh, that will be live Q3 of next year uh, and that is poised to become the most connected data center in Thailand. Hmm. Well, that's an impressive uh, milestone. Yes. Um, and I also, speaking of milestones, I understand that your NIAX Internet Exchange is celebrating an anniversary. Yes, so uh, our NIAX anniversary uh, uh, NIAX uh, Internet Exchange was founded in 1996, uh, and uh, that was the infancy of, of the uh, dot com, right? Right, yeah. Uh, so there's actually 7% uh, of the people using the internet today. That that, that was the, the entire usage. Um, so now we've uh, we've grown to become one of the largest uh, internet exchanges on the East Coast, uh, and it's uh, it's amazing that we're celebrating our 25th year anniversary. Um, it's uh, we're we've been able to. Um, uh, uh, grow the, the market there very well and uh, we have uh, over 250 peers. Uh, we operate in 10 hubs uh, across the U.S. Uh, East Coast and on the West Coast. Hmm. 25 years that is how time flies, right? Yes, yeah, yes, how time flies. yes. Um, so, so you've been busy, there's been, there's been a lot and a lot still on the horizon. Talk to us about 2022 and we're just kicking off the year here. What's next? So uh, 2022 is a very exciting year. Um, uh, uh, it, our headquarters, where we're doing a lot of 5G work, um, our IoT work and connected cars, as, as you probably have seen, we do connected car business uh, for multiple uh, large uh, manufacturing companies. And uh, and also the IoT is, is one of the, the, the next stages, but also our data center expansion, like I mentioned earlier. Yeah. Uh, so it's, it's a very exciting year for us. Um, and actually for, for the entire industry, uh, to be quite frank, because the demand is only growing. Um, yeah, is we're ever? not seeing it slowing down right. at all. Yeah. So it's uh, it's very, it's fun, exciting, and challenging yeah. at the same yeah. time. And you guys are ready for it, so absolutely. Yeah. Um, that's uh, that that's what we do. We we have to be ahead of the game um, to be able to yeah. uh, support our global customers' needs. Yeah. So 
our, for our viewers who, who want to stay up to date on all this great news and all this great development, where can they go? Uh, please visit our sites, uh, our websites. We have all of our information published there. Um, uh, our uh, all of the new and upcoming and uh, and and developing uh, items are always listed on our sites. Uh, and you can follow us, and uh, you'll receive all of that information as as it uh, as it comes out. Yeah, great. Thank you so much, Milad. It was really a pleasure to see you and to chat with you today. Yeah. It's a pleasure to be here and thank you very much for your time. Yeah. And thank you viewers for tuning in to JSA TV and JSA Podcasts. Happy networking. Mahalo.